What's good, superstars? Back with another Disney Pinnacle video. You got superstar Joe. You got superstar Rob in the building. How's it going, Rob? The trading, it's popular. It's a popular mechanic. Guys, if you're new here, do not forget to become a superstar. Smash the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification so you know when we talk about some trending, trending topics, trending things in the NFT web three space. You can also become a superstar VIP. Turn on a month to the join button down below. We're going to do giveaways for August this week. You can also um, level up through the stars, get more entries into those giveaways every single month. So if you join the VIP, you're going to be entered into September's giveaways. Follow us on X, follow us on Instagram, join the Discord. Discord is a place that you learn about other projects like we do. We learn about other projects through our own Discord all the time. Disney Pinnacle is a great one where we see a lot of new people, a lot of new uh, people like you watching this video right now, you probably just stumble across the Pinnacle video on YouTube. Uh, join the Discord. We got Alan from the product team of Disney Pinnacle in there talking uh, to the community all the time. Very, very open uh, when it comes to being boots on the ground. So very cool. I've uh, been getting to know him over time uh, and very, very good guy. So uh, excited to see where this goes. But today we're going to talk a little bit more about the numbers from the trading weekend and about what we think about Disney Pinnacle and Dapper and, and their impact on the space. Rob, how's it going? Yeah, it's going great. By the way, guys, just a reminder, like we have the Disney Pinnacle chat in Discord. Strongly recommend you join it. It's just a different environment than the official Disney chat. I, I still recommend you guys go to the official Disney Pinnacle Discord. You can join that Discord, participate there. We're not saying not to do that, but we really, really recommend you join the Superstar Discord because there is no other nation than Superstar Nation. So make sure you join the Discords in the description below. Some would say that our Discord is the original Disney Pinnacle Discord because <laughs> it was there before. Disney Pinnacle's official That's right. Discord launched. However, we are very supportive of both uh, places. If you want to be like completely <clears throat> engulfed in Disney Pinnacle and only Disney Pinnacle content, their official Discord is a great place. If you want to have like kind of like a more general, broad view with people from different projects making commentary, you can come to ours, uh, and it's a lot of fun. So definitely check that out. Um, I'm going to pull up this tweet that got this entire thing started because Diamond is always getting us talking about Pinnacle. So, I mean, he does a great job expressing um, the numbers, expressing um, the drops, <clears throat> letting everybody know what's going to be happening on Disney Pinnacle. We know that Disney Pinnacle, the one thing that they are is quiet when it comes to um, development, roadmap, any of that stuff. Um, so <laughs> we know that we're very thankful that Diamond has uh, always summarizes upcoming drops, summarizes trading events, summarizes all kinds of things on X uh, to help spread the word of Disney Pinnacle. I think he's been a great unofficial ambassador for them, uh, if you will. And uh, I, I he's been another he, one we've enjoyed getting to know. He's like the Robin Hood for the community. <laughs> he goes in there. He will yeah. steal announcements from them. He will steal information from them. But it's completely legal because it's public information for anybody to mine. He just has the skills to do it. Um, so – like he does some great, great stuff, guys. Like it's not just for Disney Pinnacle. He does it for so many flow projects. And you can follow him at Diamond NFL. Look what he got for us here. So what is this? 11,000 digital pin swap. It's pretty so big is, if you consider about it for a few days. This is the end of summer training event. Now I want to make a disclaimer here. Diamond NFL does not work for Dapper Labs. Okay. So whatever he posts, whatever he finds through the blockchain, the, the interwebs, whatever it is, it's things that he's found open source and uh, able to communicate. But you have to always remember that if you want official, official release announcements, you have to go to the official Discord or the official X accounts of Disney Pinnacle and uh, make sure you make any decisions based off of their communications rather than any third party. But we do love following Diamond and uh, I think he makes it a lot more fun this space. So definitely check him out. But yeah, yeah. this one here is about the training event, which was this weekend, the long weekend, Labor Day weekend. Yeah. Uh, three days. I think. I think this is what shocked shocked us when we first saw this. Eleven thousand four hundred forty-one pin swap, um, and trades completed two thousand one hundred and fifty-three trades. Like this is ever increasing number when it comes to uh, trading on Disney Pinnacle. We know that they do these windows of trading. They don't leave it open continuously. You would think after the first, after the second time, maybe the hype dies down. Um, but it does not appear to be that way. It seems as though uh, it might be even getting stronger the interest in this platform of digital pins maybe their messaging at d23 was actually uh very successful maybe they are doing some boots on the ground marketing 
uh, that we don't see from other platforms in similar situations. So uh, it's very cool to see these numbers slowly increasing. Uh, but these are pretty impressive for me, Rob. What do you think? So I think that there's a couple things going on here. First of all, Disney Pinnacle does not have 24-7 trading available. They have trading events. They limited it to a certain period of time, and that could be because the app is currently in beta right now. And we keep hearing about the so-called global release, but we know they haven't done that yet. So when you when you consolidate all that pent-up demand to trade in that weekend, you're going to get a little bit more volume in that weekend. With that being said, I think it's pretty impressive that if you take that 2,000 and say, okay, well, there was 2,000 trades completed. So you need two people to do a trade. So you could just multiply that by two. But I think that probably many of the trades completed were done multiple times by the same people. So for argument's sake, we can just say there were just 2,000. Let's say on average, each person did two trades each. Um, so let's just say there's this exact number around 2,000 was the number of users in this weekend. That's pretty good. And I think one thing about Dapper, I, I'm noticing, I'm observing when I when I see what's going on with their various different projects is they have a real following. I don't know if I'll go as far as calling them a cult, but they have a real following of people that will, will buy into their projects because they have a team with a proven track record of delivering successful NFT projects. That's the key. We look around the space and we see communities all in on projects that have a team, but th that team may not have necessarily had experience delivering NFT projects. Dapper's already done it. This is like their third one or more. <laughs> so yeah, more. But it's more, but you know what I mean? In terms of the big name ones, you're looking at three or four. They've done a lot more, but the, the ones that have really caught a lot of attention, you're, you're at a number of major projects that have had a huge success and popularity. So I think when they put out anything right now, if Dapper is attached to it, you're going to have that community following along and they're going to be picking up new people along the way. Yeah. I mean, the one thing that really stands out on this page for me is that Disney Pinnacle still has not followed us. So we're waiting on that. So whoever's doing that, El Dumbo, whoever you are, make yeah. sure you hit the follow button on Superstar Money. But uh, no, I mean, you're right. It's the trust. It's the trust in the Web3 community that Dapper themselves have obtained. I mean, uh, they created the word NFT. Crypto Kitties was made because of them on the Ethereum network. Uh, we're going to get into that in just a second, but they have uh, NBA Top Shot. A lot of people in the space came uh, to the platforms that we track from NBA Top Shot because they learned about NFTs and how people uh, valued them or or saw uh, ownership as important because Dapper Labs created the opportunity through Top Shot through Crypto Kitties. Now they have spinoffs with NFL all day where they have utility with gamification based off of fantasy, like real world action happening. Uh, they have UFC strike, uh, all these major, major sporting licenses. And now, of course, Disney Pinnacle, uh, which seems to be uh, vastly, vastly successful, not even being globally released. So uh, very exciting. I want to bring up something that um, is, is actually driving the world by storm right now. And that is um, this thing that I did a little video on. Uh, Alan from uh, Dapper Labs came into our Discord and just posted this and puts a, puts a picture of an egg. And then I'm like, what, what is this? There's a mint schedule. It was public from August 30th to 31st. I did a video on this on that day. So anybody who wanted to participate in the mint would have had the opportunity to if they watched the video. Um, and I know that a couple of you have. So um, I know whoever's been in, it's been enjoyable for them so far. Um, we were able to mint two, one of one each, and uh, also uh, the mint was like around twenty bucks US, and I think the price now is like 0.25 ETH or something, 0.22 ETH, which is incredible return. However, they're not done. Like these guys here are not done when it comes to this egg uh, NFT. The the egg NFT uh, has now we know three rarities: common, uncommon, and rare. They have a website now, a Telegram. You can join a Telegram. There's people in there just speculating. It's like actually yeah, yeah. insane. And the whole point of this is that people bought this egg NFT knowing nothing. People yeah. are in Disney Pinnacle with no communication from the team because they know, like Rob said, the track record that they have from other projects. That is why trust is so important. That's why we speak to communication and trust and um, making sure that you don't uh, screw over your community um, because they remember. But when you do the opposite and you actually take care of your community, they also remember. And this is proof in the pudding. Um, 
it's it's if you go to open sea so you go to the main page on open sea there's open uh and then you can see the egg is number two on trending it's not verified by the way it was not verified there you go 0.2 eth pretty much um but ridiculous that an egg image that was just posted by people who have um great trust in the space could do something like this i mean I, I think it's a, a lot to say about Dapper, a lot to say about the project. And I think we are all in great hands when it comes to Disney Pinnacle and uh, them providing that trust to the community. But also, I think they're going to start listening to the community. I think they're going to start doing what people want because they want the product to be successful, but they also uh, are doing a great job already. So a mix between what they what they think is good and what the community think is good, I think will make for a great, fun project. Well, look at that portfolio that you just mentioned. They can, at this point, the expansiveness that they can do because they have all these licensors already on board, they can pretty much walk into any company with insane IP and just say, look, we've done this already five, seven times with these, this licensor, this licensor, this licensor. And then they can do their own thing, as you see with these eggs, and they don't even need a roadmap. How can you possibly get away without a roadmap? And I like what you said about trust, but I'm going to go one step further here, Joe. Because they've gone, they've gone through that growing pains of their community. They've gone through lawsuits. They've gone through settlements. Mm -hmm. They've dealt with the changing and actually have led the changing landscape of that regulatory rules of people not being totally clear, no precedence in courts. And they're dealing with that. And they're at the forefront of dealing with that. So it's no surprise that they're releasing projects without a roadmap, which I don't think any really there's not many other companies I think ever that could get away without a roadmap and could just release something, say nothing and get away with making insane, like basically selling out without saying a single thing of what the heck this thing's going to do. And it all stems back to that. And of course they invented the word NFT. They have a team that knows what they're doing. I'm still curious to see with, despite without a roadmap and that speculation, I, I'm still curious to see what they're going to do differently. We've been pushing on this channel for a long time now that we need to see more utility out of these projects. And uh, I, again, I, I think it's at some point it's going to flip. It's going to flip where you got to do more. You got to do more than just, you know, putting a, a picture for people to buy and look at. It has to have some utility. When you think eggs, you think of hacking ability. Uh, maybe you think of a, some kind of game of some kind, some kind of, you know, if you have this egg, this game, you complete a set, you could do something with it. I don't know where they're going with this, but I am definitely curious to see where it ends up going. Um, and I think that Dapper is completely uh, uh, willing and capable of finding unique utility opportunities within their NFT projects. They're already starting with some light gamification, right? With the whole uh, moments they had burning events, crafting events, all these things. They're trying to find ways to get that to be a little bit more fun. Uh, there's kind of that fantasy aspect that they've been talking about. I can't remember the name of it, but I think it was for NFL all day, right? Where you had, you can kind of use your stuff and get some points, like games. So they're going to try to find top more. Shot, yeah. yeah it was, oh, it was a top shot. Okay. So they're trying to find ways uh, to be a little bit more interactive with the community. So we'll see where this one ends up going. Well, we know, we know that they also, not only did they create the word NFT, they created a blockchain for scalability obviously with the lawsuit and all that stuff they've separated from it but they created a blockchain called the flow blockchain uh which had massive news today uh starting to uh, upgrade the network for the evm yeah. equivalents the the crescendo network as they call it um i, I saw someone say crescend it because you know send it uh so i thought it was pretty funny but um this this is this is insane what's going on and i think the timing of the egg pfp project is kind of uh on purpose as well obviously it's they dropped the eggs on on ethereum flow is doing this upgrade you can see at the top for the crescendo network happened yeah. today um so basically it can be allowed <laughs> ethereum and flow to be uh interoperable in a way on on uh on layer two uh very very cool and uh, important because uh ethereum has a lot of great uh projects and and to be able to integrate that way obviously they started on ethereum with crypto kitties now to have that integration uh with crypto kitties now dropping eggs on ethereum right before this crescendo launch you got to think maybe there's going to be some kind of way that they prove that that is going to work um you got the crescendo here open for builders 
you can see all the great licensors on the flow blockchain obviously and then i talked about um the flow rewards program which is like almost like a credit card reward program for staking your flow or doing things with the flow uh, so these guys they, they've been around they understand what people want they understand uh how to make crypto how to make nfts cool uh, and i don't think that there's anybody else out there doing it better when it comes to that type of utility uh, on a large scale so Disney Pinnacle, uh, look, you even got cryptoids in the background. We know cryptoids are built on on Flow uh, on this, but uh, well, nice. nothing, to do with, nothing to do with Dapper Labs. But I mean, yeah. Flow Flow is is a product from Dapper Labs uh, originally. So I think you get the idea. Why do people blindly trust this company? Uh, they got so much going on, and they just continue to build and they continue to innovate in the space. You got Roham, you got Redima, uh, and you got the rest of the team there at Dapper Labs as well. Like we mentioned, Alan earlier. Um, just completely creating the space from nothing uh, and uh, really cool to get to start to finally get to know some of them uh, a little yeah, bit well, on your basis. Well, blockchain interoperability is the stuff of the future, right? Like this is exactly where people knew Web3 was going to go and Flow, who again, they built their own blockchain uh, in order to uh, appease the NFT crowd. They needed the scalability, the speed that comes with it. And now they're going to, open up a whole new set of possibilities with uh, the various dApps uh, that want to use and leverage full blockchain because you're just getting into now a, ch a chance to, to bring in a new crowd. Uh, that versatility, I mean, it's going to open up doors, I think, for projects that they didn't have before. We talk about cryptoids, for example, how they're on flow blockchain. They have the ghost token on Ethereum, all these things. Well, you know what? Maybe EVM is going to change something. Maybe you can have new possibilities we didn't think of that can connect these things in ways uh, that will give enhanced utilities to projects or enhanced options to projects. What do you got here, Joe? Uh, just saying this is a 22 minutes ago that the crescendo is uh, almost completed. So basically, they're still working through it. But uh, today was the day for this major, major thing. I think once that happens, like you said, there's going to be all kinds of opportunity. Uh, and uh, the fact that they made it happen, like, they built it on their platform to have the interoperability with the Ethereum network and at the same time still have all the scalability and all that stuff for flow. Uh, just geniuses in the space. And uh, I mean, just we're, we're happy to have stumbled upon uh, the type of technology and the projects and, and all of that uh, that's going there because it's a different community. Like we've, we've seen people who came into our Discord, for example, that were only into um, Dapper Labs projects. Um, they came when we, we started covering the Disney Pinnacle stuff. Uh, and then obviously it's all a branch. It's all a web. It's a web three of, uh, of interconnectivity. So very happy we started to cover this stuff uh, because I think that they, they have a great shot to uh, educate the masses when it comes to that. So, I mean, very excited to see where Dapper goes, obviously having big licenses like Disney and, uh, and some pull with them at, because I'm sure that they, they also trust mm. Dapper um enough to give them an entire project with their name on it disney pinnacle um to to trust where they see this space going and how they can utilize web3 uh for the better so just exciting stuff and that that pin training numbers that we showed off the top i think goes to show that uh this is this is something that is growing and people are saying nfts are dead but disney pinnacle's numbers are showing otherwise yeah guys if you have any you know trading that you did or you have an opinion on that and those numbers, like how do you interpret that? Let us know in the comments below. What do you guys think about the Disney Pinnacle trading numbers? Also, what do you think about this egg project with absolutely no, like nothing that's been said and it's like sold out, right? Like, what do you guys think about that? Let us know in the comments below. Let us know what you guys think as well about flow blockchain. We think it's going to be pushing the envelope in terms of how uh, versatile projects can now be with that crescendo network, that ability the EVM, as they call it, be able to be interoperable between the two different blockchains. Let us know in the comments below. If you haven't already, don't forget. Become a superstar. Smash the subscribe button. Join the superstar fam. Hit the bell on Facebook to see every single video, every single day. Also, do a superstar VIPs. 200 a month. Start beside your name. Master special giveaways, guys. Thank you so much. Take care. See you next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.